Hello everybody. Welcome to the Nigeria 61st Independent Soiree. With me, Yinka Davis. I'm your hostess. Today, we're going to have loads and loads of fun with my band members and the great chief, Tony Okoji, who's coming to grace my day today. In the meantime, I'm going to give you a little bit of history with a song uh, that was requested by some very, very heavy demand from friends of mine, Ekoile. Ekoile was written because I love Omolanke. Now, Omolanke is, <laughs> is, a, is a cut, you know, like a Lagos thing. You just see them all on the street. And then I think Sir Victor Olaya, the late Victor Olaya, uh, wrote some, a song called Omolanke. And I liked it. And so when I got a chance, actually in one of my, my tunes, I just used it. And that's why Ekoile was born. And I remember Femi Lassode telling me that my music is too serious. And I thought, okay, maybe this one should work. And I thought, you know, my head just slipped. So sit back, relax, and watch me and my band, Five and Six. Everywhere my dad went, money lati telling me, making history. I live for more long, more money, Free education was the craze, but I had to walk a mile. Stain to show more loo, Gina, gone it by you. I could join your ram and found Ramalu, I go lay, put him at a coating by Bakuba this time. Cause it can go up, perform a day, oh, Basha Kasha right now. No operation feed the people.
that, to do that, to do that. Da 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 do. To do that, to do that, to do that. Da 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 do. Right about now, I'm inviting on stage my big big daddy, big friend, elder, <laughs> Chief Tony Okoroji. in a long time. I know, I know. You know, only Ika can bring me here. Get me to do the song Juliana. Juliana. That's right. Juliana who room knows the love. Juliana sing my dear. Juliana see her love room. Boga say her kaisoa. Juliana come on daliye. Obi ma papa. Juliana come on sweet. Oh, be my man, pin. Maybe the love of Julie, me we rob him there. Maybe they kiss away Julie, and yeah, me we no jolly. I'm am not Julie Bonyori, I'm am not Julie Bonyasi. Juliana where a pin she wayo, Juliana where a where she wayo. Oh, lo 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 lo. saw him sing Juliana. We are going to discuss his, you know, his history, our history through his eyes. Tell me, Chief, tell me, what did it take to be a successful musician? Um, I think 
things have changed you know, quite substantially as uh, the culture is changing, uh, the technology is changing, you know, um, music, I consider it used to be serious business that you worked for, you know, for you to be a musician, you got to learn yes, instruments, sir. you got to rehearse yes, and rehearse and rehearse and you did it for the love of it. There are quite a lot of people who played music for a long time who never made any money out of music. But, but out of love. Yeah, but they did it out of love. Now, the first thing anybody asks you is uh, how much is it need yes. for me? You know, you practically don't have instrumentalists anymore. There are not much of them, except maybe in the churches. That's where mm. you find the instrumentalist. Um, everybody wants to do it easy. You know, you know the Facebook generation, you know. Yeah, oh, so we, that's what you call them. Facebook. Yeah, the Facebook generation. Everything is shorthand, you know. Uh, all the drums are in uh, one uh, chip. You just throw in the drums. Uh, I was telling you that I used to go to the studio and spend the whole night mm -hmm. just to get the, the, the right sound of the bass drum. <laughs> the whole night. You don't need the whole night to get a sound of bass drum. There are so many sounds of the bass drum. Study some little chips now. You just tap any of them and you, and you get what you, you want. And when I did the, the, the recording, Juliana. Yes, sir. Right? Um, Juliana was... Um, Juliana captured the scene at a time when... I thought we were moving from the, the traditional... The analog. Yeah, to the contemporary. Yeah. So the music was both, you know, a cross, traditional, a crossover, a crossover yes. and uh, contemporary. Mm -hmm. And what made it happen was that, that mixture. And I found that, that a lot of people followed yeah. that trend, that trend yeah. you know, eventually. Um, I remember when we used to have, when we used to have FM stations. Yes. You know, and uh, I used to complain that uh, some of... <laughs> I used to complain that the guys who were on the FM station saw FM as foreign music. We went to an iClub. Yes. You know, practically all the music that played was foreign music, you know. But that has changed. A lot. A lot. Because, oh you know, because everybody is dancing to Nigerian music now. Yes. But part of that change, you know, is also technical mm. in a way. Because with uh, the advent of digital, digital sound. Uh, you know technology, technology yes. you know the difference in terms of quality you know wasn't um, noticeable anymore before quality in terms of recording and presentation yes, was a major major problem that changed but so how did you survive how how did art survive then music as it were no it, it was tough that's why i say that for most of us we were committed to the ah. profession so whatever we took, we understood we were going to take it. You know, uh, uh, your parents warned you <laughs> no, 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 not to get into music. You know, our parents don't want you uh, not to get into music anymore. They encourage you to get into music. You had to convince them that you are not a fool and you are not a smoker mm -hmm. of uh, some weed or whatever. <laughs> you are not a drinker of, uh, you don't consume alcohol. To the, but, you know, there was, there was better camaraderie. Yeah. There was a lot of camaraderie. You know, you didn't have the one-man band. Then you had to have a group. Yes. And they, within the group, you know, you had families. Yes. You know, now everybody wants to be the star of the show. Hmm. Uh, but you understand, again, the Facebook generation yes. is a totally different generation. And I, I don't blame anybody. It's just the metamorphosis. Yeah of the time. This is a tribute to Mr. Mano de Bango. Ba 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 
how independence was being celebrated in your day? Oh, independence was a big thing in Nigeria. I mean, for all of us, it was a big, big thing because in the true sense of the word, we celebrated our nation and we had expectations. We are Nigerians. We are Nigerians and nobody can mess up uh, with us Nigerians. But uh, let's not kid ourselves. We've seen what has happened to the country. The promise mm. the country had for all of us. I mean, I, I knew kids used to get new new sandals, oh, yes. you know, new shoes. Oh, yes. You know, they were very happy to wave their flags. Oh, yes. They'll go to the march past on oh. Independence Day. You know, you never had anything like low-key celebration independence was loud <laughs> now everybody's afraid you don't want to have independence day and some guys come there with their ak-47 oh. and mess everybody up and all that um i just hope that one of these days we'll find those values mm. that made us very very proud yes you know, everywhere anywhere you went as a nigerian you won respect you know um i'm the last man to give up on nigeria no, no, truly, I believe that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not into all these tribalic sticker no, no, no. arguments. I, I love Yinka. I never asked Yinka, where, what state do you come from? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. For how many years that we've known, it, yeah, doesn't, exactly. it simply doesn't matter. What matters is that uh, you're skilled, you know, you're brilliant, you're talented, mm -hmm. and your talent shines. And that's what makes us a family. I just hope we'll come back to that where... We are a family of people who love themselves and who are proud to come from this land which God has blessed with so much and which we have disappointed so badly. John 3.16. John 3.16, I was in the UK. I saw Funsho, uh, Funsho Ayetoro. He's another beautiful artist. We went, I went to the studio and watched him rehearse. And the first thing was, I couldn't think of anything else, but I pledged to Nigeria, my country. John 3.16, uh, like we need to really love our country. Yeah, 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 yeah
Oluwa lo gba de le wa lori to si fa so si wa lara mo fo gbo ato e owo da wa lola ka ma ma ra re laye Facebook generation that you call them. <laughs> what advice would you give them now that you? No, 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 no. I, I, I would expect to see a whole lot more love and coming together instead of divisions. You know, each time you open uh, uh, any, you know, you go through any of these uh, platforms, yes. what you see is uh, hatred. Hate mm -hmm. cannot do anything for us and we look at what's happening in sudan or what's happening in rwanda mm. and you see the destructive nature of it i believe that love is the greatest thing that we can have and uh, despite all the injustice that's happening in the country uh, we need to get love back and please can we reduce the injustice mm. you know i must let you go okay 
I must let him go. He has to go and rest. I want to thank you so much, Chief, for coming to, you know, celebrate the independent soiree with me. Thank you so much, Inka, for giving me the and opportunity. And that you sang. <laughs> Only this lady, brilliant lady, can get me to sing right now. How many years? <laughs> when was the last time you sang your song? Well, no, I sing in the bathroom every day. <laughs>